agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bohm, an international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Qatari, soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pat Katari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group? is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find the Maru. Hooah. Let's go. There's an Air Force colonel and a Delta operator sitting next to each other on a flight out of King Khalid. Is this the one where the Delta operator skins the Air Force colonel and wears him like a suit? What? No, different story. Oh man, I love that one. Anyway, they're both headed back home after a long deployment. The Delta guy's been out in the desert doing, you know, Delta stuff. 
and he just wants to rock out for a while. But the Air Force Colonel, he's on like his eighth espresso and he's feeling chatty. So the Colonel says, hey, you wanna play a game to pass the time? It's a great game, you'll love it. Here's how it works. I ask you a question. If you can't answer it, you pay me $5. Then you get to ask me a question. If I can't answer it, I pay you $500. The Delta guy sighs that. and thinks it over. Yeah, go ahead, he says. The Colonel grins, you know. What's the distance between Earth and Neptune, he says. The Delta operator thinks a minute. Finally, he frowns and reaches into his pocket and hands over $5. The Air Force guy, he grins. He figures he's going to take this Delta guy for all he's worth. Your turn. The operator looks him in the eye. He says, what goes up a hill on four legs but comes down again on three? Then he lowers his head and he goes back to sleep. The colonel thinks and thinks. He gets out his smartphone and scours the internet for answers, but he can't find it. He calls up his buddies back in Saudi and asks them for help, but they can't find the answer either. Finally, the colonel admits defeat, pulls out $500, wakes up the Delta guy and hands the money over. The operator pockets the money without a word and closes his eyes again. But the colonel just can't let it go. He wakes the Delta guy up. He says, I gotta know what goes up a hill on four legs but comes down again on three. The Delta guy stares at the colonel for a second. Then he reaches in his pocket, hands the colonel five dollars, and goes back to sleep. Getting a position. Ready to fire. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Target down. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Spotted one with submachine guns. And baby makes three.
Ready. Call the shot. Say the word. Tango down. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They could pay us back later. Rally up, people. Copy that. Got another tango. history. Fire, fire, fire. He's gone. Good to go. Hostile down. Target down. Deploying drone. Ready. Call the shot. Enemy down. Hermanos Bolivianos, as you sit comfortably in your homes, as you go about your day of work and taking care of your families, you might be wondering, we do that? why do we not spy that the that. rebel van is banished?
Bad guys are marked, waiting on you, boss. Okay, we're cool. We got hostiles in the area. Ready to fire. That guy's history. We got company station. All clear, all clear. The drone is up. Got a target carrying submachine guns. Say the word, boss. Tango down. We got company. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. We got a Sicario. Where you got him? There, and the watchtower. Fire. Copy that. Target is down. Enemy down. Silencio, marche. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! Got one. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Hang on, I'll drive. All right, I'm Let's in. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't going to wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru.
ese vato. Radio Santa Blanca, con DJ Perico. Dale, vato loco. ¿Qué pasa, plebe? DJ Perico playing that music that makes your culito bounce up and down. But now, we're taking a break for a public service announcement. Do not betray Santa Blanca. You do not fuck with el sueño, wey. Here is a brief recording of what Jorge in Inca Camina has to say on the topic. Por favor, mercy, mercy. I will hear your confession. Perhaps then, Santa Muerte will forgive you. I don't know any. Ah! It was real. My foot. Give it back. Por favor. Listo. Listo, listo. It was me. I gave the Colombians a shipment of super coca. It was just one small shipment. Ah! And there you have it, Raza. Do not fuck with Santa Blanca. And now, an old favorite going out to Jorge. Be the 10th caller with the correct name of the song and win Jorge's gold watch. Sicario over here in the barn. Rally on me. Roger, move it. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Tango number three. Two Sicarios. Inside the barn. That's a kill. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Deploying drone.
got it. Hostile killed. We're good. We all in one team? Check it out. Weapons case. I've been wanting one of these. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Así que escuchen bien. La rebelión no perdona. Alguien ayúdeme a salir de aquí. Entiendan, carajo. Agarraron a la persona que no debían. Exijo que me saquen ahora mismo de aquí, bestia. Oiga, hermano, ya pasó mucho tiempo. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Entonces, pa' Qatar y made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor.
I got eyes on a weapons case. Hold on. Come on. Oh, I can use this. is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aukas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. 
They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. What the hell happened here? GPS says the place is named Yopil. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either the cartel or the dogs chased everybody off. I think our guns are spoken of. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it... Pakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to count on his support in the future. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Rally up, people. Roger that. <laughs> so 
So how brutal is Yuri and Polito's torture anyway? I sure as hell don't want to find out. But I mean, obviously, it's nothing as softball as waterboarding, right? I mean, we're talking permanent damage and death here. They're also medically trained. So you have to figure there are some pharmaceuticals at work to keep their victims awake. See, back in the day, the real torturers didn't need drugs to keep their victims awake. So they're amateurs. That's obvious from how few people survive their interrogations. A real torturer, a professional. He or she is in control. He or she understands what's needed. Yuri and Polito are sloppy. They get carried away. They do it for the fun of it, not because it's a job and not for the art. So yes, they're brutal. But not because they try to be. They're brutal because they're incompetent. I think you've got a dark side hidden under that smile, don't you? Hostiles in the area, stay frosty. The drone is up. I gotta say, I feel bad for Agent Sandoval. But that guy was crazy. I mean, his balls must have knocked against his knees, they were so big. Six years undercover, that's damn brutal. Think of all the evil shit he must have done to become Swingler's right hand. 
He's not just driving the guy around. Sandoval's dropping bodies, making sure shipments of cocaine end up on the street, doing the bad deed to the people you're supposed to be working to protect. That's what gets me. How'd he live with it for that long? Shit. He's dead now, so I guess he didn't. I got a narco over here, over by the barn. I'm seeing two narcos here, by the barn. Spotting another tango. Eyes on two Sicarios, front of the barn. When a loses loyalty to our cause, it gives him the other characteristics he needs. Loyalty will give him the cunning to make his money. It will give him the strength to move mountains. And it will give him the aim to kill his enemies. And if a man gives me his loyalty, I give my back. He will share the fruits of the I got a third. This place in our paradise. But if a man does not, Carga estar aquí. That makes five. Opening fire. 
damn, that guy's dead. Their LT's trying to run. Está bien, ganaron. Está. Pas, 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 pis. Puta madre. Ya está. Entrego las armas. Five seconds to tell me what I want to know. Okay, okay. There's this one thing I heard about. Just earn some intel about a cartel network station. Let's find and deactivate. Santa Blanca outpost, and for a small fee, our lieutenant, who are kind of... 
trained in this sort of thing, we'll arbitrate an agreement for you. Bloodshed is expensive, and it don't leave nobody happy. Let Santa Blanca take care of this plomazo shit. And we'll make sure that everybody walks away from the negotiation table happy. Don't wait. See you today. Guys in the area. Drone is airborne. I see a second target. I got a third target. makes five. Stay quiet. Yo no he hecho nada. Suéltame, güey. to kill. We rattled somebody's cage. That truck has shit like we need in it. Down. Don't blow it up. Got infantry with a radio truck and support. Rebels could use a tech upgrade. You want to take them out? Gates targets. Fuck, get away from there. Vamos a partir de la madre con todo. Vamos a enseñarles que manda. Vamos. 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 Vamos.
on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Ready? Ready to go over fire. Engaging take. Best order has been destroyed. Hostile killed. Watch it. Get ready. Fire. Uh. Shit balls. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. Man, you'll never let me drive anymore. Just because that one time. Hermanos, elijan su salvación. Hay una salida para los sufrimientos. Got the bike. Go ahead, I'll catch up.
We got hostiles in the area. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. I got a Sicario with a submachine gun. The checkpoint, over there. Deploying drone. Check your targets. We got civilians all over the place. ¿Ya oíste hablar de esos güeyes, cabrón? De esos cuatro cabrones que se chingan a todos los que se les ponen enfrente hasta que se topen con... He's history.
Ready? Fire, 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 fire. A copy. Target down. Fucking hell! Radio gear secure. We'll tell the rebels where to come get their new toys. Let's move. Pakatari's got some brass ones. I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us a Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. That's a kill. Well, that was messy as shit. 